So, hi there classmates! So, welcome again to a new lesson about mathematics. So, on this lesson, we are going to discuss quadratic inequalities. Now, there are four types of quadratic inequalities. We have less than, greater than, less than or equal to, and greater than or equal to. Now, these are quadratic inequalities. And we are going to find their graph their interval notation, and their solution set. So sit back and relax as we discuss each quadratic inequalities. So let us start discussing our first example. The topic is all about less than. We have x squared minus 4x minus 5 less than 0. Now, for us to be able to graph, to find the interval notation, and to find the solution set, there are only three steps to follow, and I will show you how. So the first step, or step one, is since this is a quadratic inequality, we change first this inequality into a quadratic equation. So we have x squared minus 4x minus 5 equal to 0. So that's your first step. Your second step now is, since this is already a quadratic equation, so looking at the problem, we can factor out x squared minus 4x minus 5. So that will be our step 2. So the factored form will be x minus 5 and x plus 1 equal to 0. Then solving this one, so since this is a negative, if we are going to change or find our roots, that will become positive 5. And since this is a positive 1, if we are going to find our roots, that will become negative 1. So that is our second step. Our third step now is we are going to graph these roots into the linear graph. So we will make a linear graph. So since this is positive 5 and negative 1, so we will we'll put numbers here on our graph. So we'll start from 6, positive 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. And after that, this is your negative 1, negative 2, and negative 3. Now, why is it that I graph our roots? Because we are going to use our roots to test which of the following is the solution to our quadratic inequality. So, here is our boundary. So, since this is a negative 1, it means to say that our negative 1 is not included and our positive 5 is not included. Now, since this is less than, our roots 5 and negative 1 are not included in our solution. That is why we draw an open circle. So our boundary here is from here and from here. After that, you just choose any number more than 5, less than negative 1, and between negative 1 and 5. Shall we say we choose x so since zero is included here so we choose x here as zero then our x another x value here is so we say six and here shall we say that is negative two so this negative two zero and six we are going to substitute that in our problem so that we will find out which area is the shaded region for our x squared minus 4x minus 5 less than 0. So that is what we are going to do. So first, we start on the negative value. So if we let x be equal to negative 2, substituting everything by negative 2, that is negative 2 squared, then minus 4 times negative 2, then minus 5, less than 0. Then solving everything, this is 4 plus 8 
minus 5 less than 0. So if you are going to solve this one, so this will become 7 less than 0. Now, the question is, is 7 less than 0? So obviously not. So therefore, this is a false solution. By the way, so since this is a false solution, it means to say that all values less than negative 1 are not part of your solution. Next, x equal to 0. So we let x be equal to 0. So all the values will become 0. So 0 squared minus 4 times 0 minus 5 less than 0. So solving everything, so this will become 0. This will become 0. So what will remain is negative 5 less than 0. So therefore, this is a true statement. So it means to say, since this is a true statement, all the values that, in, that, is, that lies between negative 1 and positive 5 are part of your solution. Now, let's try again if x is equal to 6 and let us check. x equal to 6. So all the x will change to 6. So 6 squared minus 4 times 6 minus 5 less than 0. So solving everything, so that is 36 minus 24 minus 5 less than 0. Zero. So, if you're going to solve that, that will have 7 less than 0. Now, is 7 less than 0? No. So, therefore, this is a false statement. So what does this mean? It means to say that the value greater than 5 are not part of your solution. So, therefore, the only solution to x squared minus 4x minus 5 lies between negative 1 and positive 5. So if you are going to shade your graph, so your solution is just over here. So that is now your graph to write our interval notation. So I will denote interval notation as IN. So our interval notation now, since since the values lies between negative 1 and 5, so our interval notation is a parenthesis. Since negative 1 is not included, so write negative 1, comma, then 5, then parenthesis. So that is now our interval notation. Next is our solution set. So I will write just S, S for our solution set. Now, since our solution set or our solution lies between negative 1 and positive 5, so we can write, so we put a brace, then x, then x, so all the values greater than negative 1, so greater than negative 1, and x is less than Five. So this is now your solution set. Another way, there is another way of writing a solution set. So we, you can write your solution set as x, then write a brace. So put a slash, then you write your x here. Now take note, your x is less than 5. So you write x less than 5. Then but it should be greater than negative 1. So, the reverse of that is greater than negative 1. So, that's another way of writing your solution set. This reads as for all x such that x is less than 5 but greater than negative 1. So, that is now your answer for your x squared minus 4x minus 5 less than 0. This is your graph your interval notation, and your solution set.